Hi guys, it's John the Dyslexic Geek here. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys a brief look around my Lego room as it currently is. I've only just launched my YouTube channel recently, and it just so happens to coincide with me very recently moving house. So my Lego room is very much currently um, a work in progress. So I thought I'd do this video to give you guys a uh, show it in its current state, uh, what Lego collection I currently have, what I've got to build, and I'd like to share with you guys some of my plans for what I'd like to do with the with Lou with the room. Uh, it's my intention to do another of these videos at some point in 2023, uh, once things start to progress, and we'll see how much uh, my Lego room has evolved. So let's take a quick look around. So welcome to my Lego room. Uh, it's by no means the biggest Lego room you've probably ever seen, uh, but became, compared to my uh, last setup in in my previous house, uh, this room is about uh, two or three times the size of what I had before. So this room is quite perfect for me. It's a nice, nice, decent sized upgrade. Um, if I ever get to the, if I ever get to the point where I outgrow this room. Uh, but I do have another room in the house that I might be able to negotiate with my wife to let me use. But uh, I think that's quite a long way down the line. Uh, I, think, I think I'll be able to use this room for quite a few years yet. So here we are. All the sets that you can see here. Uh, these are Lego sets that I've been acquiring over the last few years. And I, they're all brand new, sealed, uh, just waiting to be built. Um, every set I think that you see here, I'm pretty sure I think I've got all uh, during sales. Um, so yeah, who can beat cheap Lego? It's the best. So it makes just make it that little bit better. Um, so up there, that's my that's my dog Maisie. There's a painting a friend done for us. Uh, so we move down here. This is some of my collection down here. Uh, I've got a Silent Mary. Pose X Wing, uh, the, uh, the um, Whomping Willow, uh, the X Wing here. That is the very first set I brought when I first got back into Lego in about 2010, 2011. And uh, next to it is the second set I brought, uh, the A Wing, which I actually got in the uh, New York Lego store um, quite a long, long time ago now. Uh, so yeah, I've got a few more bits and pieces down here. Uh, a few of the latest Harry Potter sets. Uh, let's move up here. Over here, this is some of, this is my windowsill, my collection, at, some of my best selection at the moment. Uh, obviously, the Tower of Orthanc. Um, truly spectacular set. Um, really, really, I love this set. It's one of the most, probably one of my most favourite that I actually have. Uh, the only downside to it, it is one hell of a dust magnet. Um, obviously being completely black, it does need uh, quite uh, regular dusting. Otherwise it does look, get into, gets into, into quite a state. Uh, next to it we have a uh, Star Destroyer. Uh, one of the old Harry Potter, original Harry Potter sets, the um, Dumbledore's office. And then we, here we go, we have the uh, Assembly Square. Uh, well, I've currently got a few Star Wars uh, minifigs currently visiting, along with Iron Man. And then another Lord of the Rings set, the Black Gate. Uh, over here, this is where this is my desk where I build Lego, but this will be changing. Uh, I want to get a bit of a wider table. It's, it, was, it served its purpose in the previous house. Um, but yeah, now I've got a bit more room. I'm gonna try and get a, a slightly bigger, bit a, a bigger, bigger desk to build on. Uh, moving over here, I'm not also not only am I a big Lego fan, I also uh, love Pokemon. Uh, everything down here is my current sealed collection. Uh, various bits and pieces that I've collected over the last couple of years. And uh, in these boxes, you can see, you can see here. Uh, these are more Lego sets that I haven't, I haven't got round to opening yet. Uh, this one here, uh, I believe is R2-D2. Uh, the box directly behind it is the Disney Castle. Next above, this one here, is the uh, Loop Coaster. Um, 
This one, I don't actually know what's in that one. I can't remember. I'm current, constantly ordering stuff, so I sometimes forget what I actually have. So I need to get looking at looking at looking at that box at some point and see what what it is. And then behind that is the Lego Guardians of the Galaxy uh, ship. So yeah, that is my little uh, Lego collection. Well, quite substantial, I suppose, in terms of sets that I've got to build. Uh, this is a quick look over here. This is my desk where I do all my uh, editing and stuff and games and my coffee machine. So yeah, so this is it at the moment. It's all very unorganised at the moment as I literally just, as I said, I only just moved in here uh, literally about, two, about oh, three or four weeks ago now. Um, so there's quite a lot of uh, work that I need to do in here. Uh, my plan is for this back wall here um, I'm going to get some uh, bookcases, uh, maybe something like the, like the Billy bookcases from Ikea. Um, but as everyone knows, Ikea these days is no longer that, that cheap, so they're quite expensive. So I'll be buying them one, well, I have to buy them as I go really. But uh, I measured along, along this wall, I think I can get three of the Billy, big Billy bookcases along that wall. I think I can get one more in this corner here. And then again, in this corner here, I can get a another one possibly two um but i don't want to get it too cluttered it'll just it'll, it'll be a bit too overwhelming but yeah so at, at the moment i say i do i love coming in this room at the moment it's it's like walking into my own uh, lego shop uh but everything in here is all brought and paid for when it's all mine so yeah this is all, all these sets i'm going to be building um Gonna take quite a while to get all these built because I'm not exactly the fastest of builders. I do tend to take my time. Uh, uh, as, I, as I'm rather dyslexic, the bigger sets do tend to take me quite a while because I have to follow the instructions very carefully. Otherwise, I do make quite a few frustrating mistakes. So, yeah, the big ones do take me a couple of days to get done. Um, I will be reviewing some of these sets. Um, if there's any, any any sets you guys particularly would like me to build. Please let me know in the comments which ones you think I should do first, maybe. Personally, I'm thinking of doing uh, the Blacksmith, uh, possibly the Globe, or maybe the Sanctum uh, Sanctorium, as it's quite a nice modular, so I'll start, I'm going to start up building up my modular street. But again, I need shelves to put it on, really. So, yeah, so in January, I think a trip to, to Ikea will be needed. So, yeah. So there we go. I hope you have enjoyed taking a look around my own little Lego world. It's very unorganized at the moment, but it's the start of what I hope is a very exciting journey for me. And it's one I hope you will all join me on. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be making content as often as I can. And I look forward to sharing my passion for the amazing world of Lego with you all. Uh, as it's Christmas week, I'm not sure if I'll be uploading any more videos until after the Christmas period, um, as it's very busy, like most people with family and things. But I am currently working on a, number, on a number of videos and I am intending on doing reviews uh, very soon. So thanks for watching. If I could please ask you to click the like button, that would be great. And if you, if you feel I've earned it, I'll be very grateful for, grateful for your subscription. Uh, I look forward to seeing you on my next video.